all right morning afternoon uh good night whichever time of the day it is for you guys uh we are out here got some mild temperatures today uh we are in between smith county wilson county line area um we're out here aerating uh we usually do this with a pull behind uh since this is an open area um uh, we've got mary on the mowers you can see over here As you can see that guys, uh, she's up here aerating all the lawn. Uh, she's gonna double do this. Uh, so that means, you know, she's gonna run over it once, uh, one direction, then once another direction. That way we can get a good pattern down. Uh, we do this for everybody's lawn. Uh, depending on the area, if it's a small enough lawn that, you know, a pull behind is just gonna be uh, too much of a hassle, then we'll break out uh, the walk behind. Uh, usually in a bigger area and stuff, it just makes it a little easier. But I wanna break it down to you guys, uh, what we're doing today. So. The task in hand for today, let's let Mary get past here. So, the task in hand today is going to be mainly, uh, you know, we have a customer that came to us. Uh, they bought their own seed. They're from a different uh, state. Uh, they don't know nothing about the grasses up here, uh, which they did buy a good brand. This is a store brand. You can get this uh, pretty much anywhere local as a seed and feed store. Uh, you can get co-op, tractor supply, Lowe's, uh, Home Depot, uh, Ace, I think sells it too as well. You can order it online, whichever. Um, but the brand that we're dealing with today is Pennington. Uh, Pennington is a really good brand. I know a lot of people, uh, you know, kind of frown upon buying stuff at Lowe's and whatnot, but you, you wouldn't believe really what is out there uh, until you use it. But you also have to have a good seeded uh, format and a good product. Uh, Pennington is, is one of the best, I think, uh, store-bought products that you can get. Uh, there are farms and stuff that you can get that stuff from, but long story short, uh, the customer wanted to do it themselves, but uh, you know, due to busy schedule and stuff and family, uh, that's where we come into play. We take care of them and we're gonna do that for them. Uh, as you guys, I'm gonna show you right here on the lawn. Uh, you can see the guy, the lawn right here, uh, you see how it's, you know, we are in the early part of the year right here. So you can see how it's kind of patchy. Some areas are a little green uh, due to the fescue. All of this out here used to be uh, pasture and stuff like that. But uh, in general sense, uh, with that being said, they, uh, you know, these are new homeowners. They've only been here for a couple of years now. So we are going to uh, get them taken care of. So let me show you guys what we got uh, and how we do this stuff. Uh, as you can see behind me, you know, Mary's aerating. She's just working on the front uh, for now. So, and then once we get to the back, I'll show you guys that as well. So we're over here near um, our seed throwers. So uh, we use a couple of different types. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, we use a pull behind and then we've also got a walk behind. Uh, usually we use the walk behind for smaller areas. Uh, big one, this one will hold uh, about two, two and a quarter, two and a half bags, depending on what material you use. Uh, this one's really good as a tow behind, pull it behind any mower. It doesn't matter if it's a ride mower or a zero turn or, I mean, hell, if, if you even wanted to, guys, you can, I mean, you can pull it behind a bicycle if you need to, whatever. Uh, but it's very lightweight. It's not hard to deal with. Uh, very, very good uh, machine to use right here. Uh, the Lesco is very common. Uh, you can get these online or in some stores. Uh, this one does have a gauge set uh, to where we can take the screen out. As you can see down in here, uh, we have a screen set to where we can set that. Also, you can modify on the back here. Same thing with the one that's the toe behind. Toe behind, guys. This right here is your adjustment and all of that right there. Uh, when you have this adjustment stuff here, of course, where your, your lever comes into play, you can adjust on the inside. All right. So the main thing that we're going to tackle on Sunday today is going to be um, mainly for the seed. Uh, this seed is very good um, around these parts. It does really good in shaded or sunny areas. Uh, this is 
a good mix for this and it has a booster that uh, usually throw down with it so luckily um, the customer was on a good point base of kind of where we are of what type of seed we want to use um, you know the kind of thickness that we're looking for and stuff like that uh, and here in a minute I'll show you kind of in the back uh, of what it turns out to be after it's out and again we are in the colder time of the year uh, and this stuff is growing of course that we've had uh, two two things of snow this year already uh, and we're just now starting out in 2022 so uh, we've had tremendous amount of rain in the last couple of months so that's also been a benefit as well uh, but guys I want to show you the seed and stuff that we have here and uh, we'll go from there and, and kind of lay it out for you and, and how we do things all right guys so right here is where we're at uh, this is the uh, let me get back up here so this stuff I don't know if you folks can see that uh, but this is the smart uh, seed from Pennington uh, it's a sun and shade mix this is a tall fescue uh, this stuff does really good um, you can read up here is a little bit better bag that you can see um, this stuff uh, just uses up to less than 30% water uh, it, it's, it's got a really good growing pattern as I said we can show you in the back uh, so as you can see on the back of course it lays out everything for you of what you need to do what size uh, spreader that you need to use and whatnot and all of your steps and stuff like that also they show you on YouTube as well so really recommend this product guys uh, this stuff is really good uh, one other thing I want to key in on is uh, a, a downfall that um, a lot of people make the mistake of is buying seed a lot of bags are not breathable bags so sometimes you can get by with it of leaving it kind of in the weather or by the shop or in a in a you know a moist area so one thing that you want to really focus in on is the bags also also always pay attention to that so if you look on the side of this bag i don't know if you guys can see this right here where my fingers are um but right here get a little closer there you make it sit so these bags are made to vent so you know when they're stacked and compressed and stuff like that so they don't just pop and all that stuff um, so you, you do need to pay attention to that the booster is the same way uh, right here is a bag of booster i'll show you this product here in a second uh but right here on the side of this booster bag as you can see right here uh, it does have a few vent holes and stuff all the way down both sides of the bag uh, so in terms of that uh you know guys just just pay attention to that stuff don't leave it out in the weather uh because it, it it can hinder your seed unless you're going to use it fairly quickly uh if it sets out uh creates the uh, breakdown process and stuff i mean the stuff will start growing in the back so we don't want that to happen because this stuff is expensive it doesn't matter what brand you use uh which route you go uh either, either way that you know that you do it whether you're a homeowner and you do it yourself or you call somebody like us out and uh, take care of it for you you're still going to spend quite a bit of money either way uh, or invest your own labor so let me stand up here and get you a little bit better view of this booster uh, this is the same brand uh, booster uh, this also has smart seed uh, technology in it as well uh, one thing i didn't key in on on the uh, smart seed bags uh, these are 20 pound bags that are right here uh, as you can see these bags right here they cover 5,000 square feet uh, the booster covers close to it, it's about 43.75 so when you're looking at the bags, what we always do is you don't always want to uh, focus in on that square footage uh, because if you're overseeding, you're going to do half of that amount. So this bag is 43.75. So technically in that, in that case, you are going to do half of that, right? So you're going to be around the 25, 2200 uh, region of square foot. So when you're doing an overseed product, always, always be mindful of that, of knowing how much product that you got to have. That's why I'm, it's always best to call us out uh, you know even if a homeowner you want to do it um, that's fine and dandy and all we can get you aerated whatnot and stuff like that uh, and you yourself can get it taken care of but uh, if you leave it up to us then we can get it all taken care of but back to the main subject here on the booster uh, as you can see on the front uh, this stuff has grass seed fertilizer and enhancer in it uh, so the good thing the good thing about the booster stuff is it's pretty much uh, like a double layer uh, but it has a little extra with it versus just the seed i mean they're pretty comparable uh, when it comes to you know laying them both on the ground um, but it does a really really great job so guys i want to uh walk back here uh we're going to take a little trip uh, i'm gonna cut the video and we'll come back and, and we'll see uh, what the back area looks like so you guys can kind of see as it grows 
All right, folks, so we are back here in the backyard. Uh, I'll show you a little preview, kind of, as you can see, it's kind of a shaded, uh, barely any sun area. So uh, this, this side has not been aerated. Uh, this side was put out and was not um, done anything specific. The soil is good and wet, it's good and rich, uh, but I want you guys to see firsthand of how good and thick this product is. Now this is not very heavy coverage. This is not overseeded. This is just a normal pattern of putting this stuff out, okay? And I want to uh, congrats on the customer that done this. Um, but like I said, it really takes a little bit of brain work, labor, and stuff like that. So if you don't know anything about grass seed, don't just try to just buy you some grass seed and just throw it out and expect it to grow because it doesn't work that way. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it, nourishment, uh, fertilizing it and stuff, watering it on a proper basis and stuff like that. Again, in the situation that we're in, uh, we're not, you know, we don't, we're not having to water right now because we are getting good amounts of moisture. The ground is staying soft and tender, allowing everything to start growing. So we're gonna do a little walk around here, uh, kind of show you the bare spots versus the thick spots. Uh, because this uh, this this was kind of lightly done and you can see as this goes downhill um, you can see kind of where the pattern is the the more the seed washed down the hill right here the thicker the grass the better the look to it and of course this hasn't been cut uh, in a good little amount of time right now just because we are in the colder months we're just trying to let this stuff grow get good and thick get some good roots to it and then you know we'll top it in spring and stuff like that when it comes around for that so here we are as you can see Got some bare spots and stuff back here. Uh, not to worry, I mean, this stuff just hasn't really been seeded and stuff heavily. We're gonna take care of that today. But up here, as you can see where the start and the patch grows. But as you come down here in the field, look how beautiful that is. I mean, just look how nice and perfect this is. I mean, it looks like a, a golf course that's grown up, right? I mean, we do have a, a few things of mixture and stuff like this. Uh, we do have a few little weeds and vines and stuff like that growing in between, uh, but those are not gonna survive too much right now. As you guys can see, how thick this stuff is let me get down here a little closer you guys can see how nice and thick and rich this stuff is you can see how good a roots this is versus the soil versus where the um you know grass and stuff is growing right now i mean just just beautiful beautiful little spot all right so again guys you know when we talk about the stuff in the seeding and the aerating and taking care of this stuff you know we we mean what we say and stuff like that like I said, me and the customer was kind of on the same page with this. Um, he had already done some of this planting before I had ever um, come out here and taken a look at everything. But I mean, it just, this seed, folks, this stuff just looks marvelous, okay? Let me take you over here. We'll show you some bare spots, kind of what we're looking at over here. Uh, this is an area that uh, was kind of just hand pitched out here. Didn't really have a whole lot on it. Uh, you know, a little bit near the house and stuff like that. But as you can see right here, you can see all of this area. Uh, this used to be nothing but obviously gravel and dirt, uh, just like it is over here. There's uh, some river rock, stone bed rock, rock, stone bed rock right here. Uh, you know, and the customer's done some good mulch jobs and stuff like that in little areas. But you can see this stuff is just hand thrown out here of how well this stuff grows. And this is not even aerated back here. You can see over there a little bit see over here near the front side of the house or the back side of the house I'm sorry uh, you can see how all this stuff is kind of dead and stuff over here well we're going to improve that today we're gonna to get some more seed and stuff put out here um, we're gonna get up here and I'm ready to seed. as you heard she's ready to seed we're gonna start seeding the front area and uh, start getting it taken care of so watch the video guys and we'll show you how it's done all right guys so as you can see right here Mary's doing her trips. Uh, she's out in the distance right there. But Cedar's doing this job, throwing it out. Uh, we'll get this overseeded, guys, and uh, see how far this goes. So currently, uh, we mix it to where it's got uh, two bags of seed, which is 25 pounds a piece. Of course, that's 50 pounds. And then you've got a whole nother bag of booster that goes in that as well. So with that being said, uh, the booster is 35 pounds, so um, you can do the math, whatever, but you can see Mary there. And this cedar's throwing it out pretty far. I mean, this thing's covering probably around a uh, eight to 10 foot radius area. Uh, you can see that it just, 
it does the job. I mean, it's it slings it out there. We do have the hand when I want to do close to the house and stuff and get that taken care of. Uh, but this this way, it's a whole lot easier to overseed uh, with this one and and cover a lot more mass area. So we'll continue on and keep going. All right, guys. So as you can see right here, Mary's doing her trips. Uh, she's out in the distance right there. But Cedar's doing this job, throwing it out. Uh, we'll get this overseeded, guys, and uh, see how far this goes. So currently, uh, we mix it to where it's got uh, two bags of seed, which is 25 pounds a piece. Of course, that's 50 pounds. And then you've got a whole nother bag of booster that goes in that as well. So with that being said, uh, the booster is 35 pounds. So um, you can do the math, whatever. But you can see Mary there. And this cedar's throwing it out pretty far. I mean, this thing's covering probably around a uh, eight to 10 foot radius area. Uh, you can see that it just, it does the job. I mean, it's it slings it out there. We do have the hand when I want to do close to the house and stuff and get that taken care of. Uh, but this, this way, it's a whole lot easier to overseed uh, with this one and, and cover a lot more mass area. So we'll continue on and keep going. All right, guys, so this is what I want to touch bases on with you earlier of what I was talking about. These bags are vented. Um, you know, you want to make sure that this stuff doesn't get in the weather. Um, unfortunately, this is a bag that can still be used, uh, but we can't put it in the spreader because it's just not going to spread. You want this stuff dry. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys. Uh, one of the bags of seed had gotten wet. Uh, due to the venting in the bag. I mean, it's a natural thing. Uh, it's, it's not anybody's fault or anything like that. It just it just happened. So as you guys can take a look here, as you can look in the bag here, of course we are soaking wet. All right, and see how all of the fermentation and stuff is starting to go on. Uh, you can see some of it starting to kind of grow and discolor and stuff. Uh, it's starting to break down, which is okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, you know, we're just going to have to do it manually and stuff like that. Uh, nothing wrong with some good manual work. So, we are going to uh, fill this. Um, Mary is on the second round, as you can see out there. Uh, she is on the second round of the front yard. Uh, she's going in a different pattern. We always go in different patterns and stuff, so that way we make sure we cover all of the area. Um, with that being said, she is now on bag number three of seed uh, she still had probably uh, an eighth of a bag left uh, from the first run <laughs> oh, excuse me but as you guys can see uh, we're trying to cover the area so this this broad of an area uh, we're working with is about three quarters of an acre we're going to overseed this uh, like crazy so that way that we know that we've got oh excuse me that way that we know that we've got a good thick breakdown okay so that way we know if some seeds fell We've got enough in the area to cover with others. So stay tuned, guys. We are going to um, push some seed around the uh, resident's house, uh, get in the tight areas that, of course, the pull behind can't get, uh, and then take care of those and carry on. All right, guys. So we've got uh, the last booster bag going down up here. As you can see, you can watch Mary. And she's taking a little bit wider passes. So normally when, we, when we're when we doing our last booster set, uh, we tend to do different passes and stuff and kind of spread those out and stuff like that. You can kind of see where she's at right here. Uh, maybe you can from the sun. Uh, maybe that might help you guys right there. As you can see, taking a little bit more wider of a pass. So again, uh, we're going to finish up seeding up here. Uh, we've gotten all the fertilizer and stuff down. I'm going to do a little bit around uh, the edge of the resident's house uh, on this far side over here. Uh, we'll try to get that on camera for you. All right, guys, so we're going to finish up on this one. We're loaded up, as you can see. Um, I'm going to walk you back here through the back. Um, we've already got the front overseeded booster control. Uh, we just need to let uh, the water do its thing. So the terminology uh, for all this... Uh, we've got plenty, plenty of seed down. Uh, we've overseeded this area pretty well. Uh, so with that being said, uh, this area should grow pretty fast. Um, some of the areas we didn't cover just due to uh, the customer doing some work at home. Um, but all of this area and stuff up in here is overseeded well. The only bad part about this 
is it is probably going to somewhat wash down as you can see the track marks and stuff of where we got everything aerated um you know you can see some of the fertilizer dust and stuff like that uh, this stuff is is aerated and seeded pretty heavily all right so you want to leave a little bit of bare spots in the area uh, as you can see out here uh, this stuff is covered pretty well so you can see all the track marks for all the aeration and whatnot all the way down a couple of facets so folks we want to uh just end the video here uh we are going to let this do its thing uh let some water soak in this as i said earlier in the video i know that we are forecasting for a little bit of snow mix rain i don't know what it's going to do uh, you know we are here in tennessee so uh you, you just never know so that's just the, the luck of the draw of being in tennessee so uh with that being said folks i uh, hope you liked the video like subscribe share uh, find us on facebook find us on instagram uh, you can shoot us an email uh, if there's any products out there that you guys want us to advertise for you uh, and get on the market or anything uh, test out whatever we want to do or whatever you want us to do or we need to do um, you know we can get all that out in the open so we'll be back on here this is part one of this one uh, we'll be back out here in a a uh, few weeks and uh, check on this stuff and just see how everything's doing uh, that's what we do to our customers and stuff we just kind of keep an eye on everything and make sure everything's working all right so um, like i said we'll see you guys on the next video and uh, stay blessed stay humble and keep sharing guys see you later